Hello class. Today we're going to talk about finding volume of prisms and cylinders. So let's first talk about the what a prism is. Okay, we need to remember that a prism is a 3D object. It's a 3D object that has two congruent bases. Right? Two congruent bases and the bases must be polygons, must be a polygon. It has to be, it has to have edges and corners. So those are the conditions for, for a prism. Now we're talking about volume of prisms and cylinders. And the reason why we put them together is because they have one formula, one volume formula. And the formula is volume is equal to capital B H. But we need to understand something about this capital B. The capital B stands for area of the base. So whatever that base happens to be, we have to find the area of it first. And then this H is really the depth of the figure or the distance between the two bases. Okay. So inside this B right here, we're going to be plugging in some formulas. If it is a rectangle, we will use the A equals length times width or A equals base times height formula. And we will plug that into the capital B. If it is a triangle, we're going to use the formula A equals BH divided by two or A equals one half BH, which is what you'll see on your formula chart. Now, if it is a cylinder, okay, it has a circle for a base. So what we basically do is we use the uh, formula for area of a circle, which is pi r squared. Okay. So those are the formulas that we will plug into that capital B <clears throat> if we need that. Okay. So let's dive off into this and see if we can find the volume of a rectangular prism, a triangular prism and a cylinder. So a rectangular prism is nothing but a box. So if I give you a box like this and say, find its volume, we first need our formula and our formula is volume is equal to capital B H. Okay. Now we know that this capital B, like we said, is going to be the area of the base. So we're going to plug in the area formula for a rectangle, which is length times width. And we're going to use this one because the formula that you're really used to for volume of a box is length times width times height. So the things that I need is I need this length right here. Let's say it is 10 inches. I need this width right here. Let's say it is eight inches and I need the distance between the two bases because we, remember in a prism, it has two congruent bases. So let's say this is four inches. So now the beauty of a formula is all I have to do is plug in the information that it's asking for. So in this particular formula, it's asking for the length, which is 10. It's asking for the width, which is eight. So if you see that is our base, that's the base of the shape Now we need to remember that the base is not always what it's sitting on in some of the shapes today, it may not be sitting on its base. Okay. And then 10 times eight times four. Okay. Then we go to our calculator. We plug this in. We end up with 10 times eight is 80 times four gives us 320. And in this case, we've got inches. But because we've got three dimensions, it's inches cubed. And that's how we find the volume of a rectangular prism. Now let's talk about a triangular prism. Okay, so let's do that. Now a triangular prism is going to have two bases that are triangles because we always name a prism by its base. So here is a triangular prism. Okay, so typically we think about this one as a tent. All right. It's kind of the tent shape. So there's kind of like what a tent would look like with some flaps here in the front if we wanted to. But now I want to throw in the dotted lines. <clears throat> so here is our triangular prism. Now, again, the beauty of this is the formula is still the same thing. Volume is equal to capital BH. But this time for the capital B, since our base is a triangle, okay, it's this part right here. All right. That is our base. Okay. And notice it's not sitting on its base. We have to use the formula for a triangle, which we know is base times height divided by two. 
Okay, now here's the reason why you need to understand the idea that this other H in this volume formula is actually the depth or the distance between the two bases because we have two H's in our formula. We have to understand the distinction. Okay, so in order to do this, I need to know this base right here. Let's say that it is eight centimeters. I also need to know the height of the triangle, which is the perpendicular distance from the base to the farthest point away from the base. Let's say it is six centimeters and it is 12 centimeters deep, <clears throat> right? So now we plug in our information. I know the base of my triangle is eight. I know the height of my triangle is six. I'm gonna divide that by two and then I'm gonna multiply the whole thing by the distance between the two bases. In this case, it is 12. So then we go to our calculator. We type this in eight times six gives us 48. We divide that by two to get 24. And then we multiply that by 12 and that will give me 288 centimeters. And again, because we're using three dimensions, centimeters cubed. Okay, right? so that's our triangular prism. Now let's look at our last figure for today, and that is a cylinder. Now a cylinder is not a prism, okay, because it does not have a polygon for a base, but it does follow along with the same volume formula. So that's why we put it together. So there's our, our, our base, and the cylinder is kind of like a, a Coke can or any kind of a can that we'd have. <clears throat> so again, we start off with the same formula. Volume is equal to area of the base times the height, but this time our base is a circle base. Okay, so that means for this base, I'm gonna plug in pi r squared, because that is our formula for a circle. And then I'm gonna multiply that by the distance between the two circles. Okay, so the things I need in this particular problem is I need to know the radius of the base and I need to know the height. Okay, so if I know the radius, let's say this radius is five inches, and let's say this, this cylinder here is uh, 10 inches tall. Right? That's the information that I need. I'm now ready to plug it in. So I got volume is equal to, well, the number we use for pi as an approximation is 3.14. I'm then gonna multiply that by the radius times the radius, because that's what the squared means. Do it twice, and then times 10. So now we go to our calculator, we plug in the information, 3.14, times five times five times 10, and you end up with 785. Okay, now I did the approximation because I used an approximate number here of pi. Okay, so 785, and that would be inches cubed. It's still a three dimensional object, so we still use inches cubed. So the one thing you need to remember about volume of a prism Okay, which is a rectangular prism, a triangular prism, and a cylinder, is they all have one formula. Volume is equal to capital BH. If it's a rectangular prism, we'll plug in length times width to our base. If it is a triangular prism, we'll plug in base times height divided by two. If it is a cylinder, we'll plug in pi r squared. And then we multiply by the distance between the two bases. And that's how you find volume of a prism or a cylinder.